All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai Baba Chakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's His true name. And Rachakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach you on the scriptures. And uh, salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and all sincerity. Alright. And uh, this is just going to be a little quick exhortation video. It's uh, mainly for the younger Akim. Alright. And uh, it's pretty much um, just dealing with how, you know, you younger brothers, you should be desiring the sincere milk of the word. Alright. And, you know, basically that's just, um, the you know, the foundations. Alright. You know, the basics, you know, the... Uh, you know, the fundamentals, all right, of the scriptures, all right, that's what you should be focusing on right now, you know, you shouldn't really be worried about the meat aspect of things, all right, until you get more, you know, rooted and grounded in this faith, all right, you know, that, like I said, that's what you should be, um, you know, focusing on, you know, all right, knowing that you're an Israelite, you know, repenting, learning what's profane, what's learning what, uh, what's holy and righteous, all right, you know, you know, getting the, you know, the basic breakdowns, that's what you should be focusing on right now. And then eventually, you know, you'll get into, you know, the deeper things, which is the meat. Okay, you know, you should, you know, you'll eventually, you know, get into what? Um, learning about, you know, the book of Revelation, the breakdowns in there, you know, the book of Daniel, the book of, you know, Second Ezra, and, you know, the book of Genesis, things like that. You'll, you know, you'll eventually get to these things, but what you should be focusing on right now is, you know, uh, uh, the milk, all right, the basics. And now, uh, you know, we'll start off with this scripture now. Uh, we'll get uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, and it reads, as newborn babes, okay, and you know, that's what we are. You know, when you first come into this truth, you're a newborn babe, you're a new creature, okay? The reason why is because you did what? You put away that old man. And now you're uh, basically a uh, uh, reborn again, all right? That's that term that the um, the uh, uh, you know these so-called Christians use, right? They say you know they're, they've been uh, reborn, all right? And you know that 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 uh, term is you know you know true, all right? When you be you know come into this truth, you you're, you're uh, uh, reborn now, okay? So with that being said, you know um, think of it like this, you know babies. They basically, um, you know, they're getting taught everything. Everything, all right? From the smallest thing to the greatest thing, okay? They're being taught. And that's how we have to be in this truth. You got to get, you know, basically retaught everything that you once learned, okay? And it's going to start off with what? The basics, okay? I'm going to keep reading. It says, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. You see? Everything starts off with that milk, all right. Even for a, a child, right? The, the first thing that they uh, that they eat is is um breast milk, and then they, and then what happens? They grow, you know. They get stronger, they get more aware, more alert. Okay, you know. Then eventually they do what? They 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 you know get off the breast milk. Then they start you know eating things that aren't um. Uh, basically, it's not it's not liquid anymore. It starts becoming what more like whole, okay? But it's not even still even with a, a child, right? You know, when a baby starts getting a little bit older, like you know, and it's like what like a you know a year old, they start eating. They don't they don't go to like a, a, a solid solid food yet. They eat what mush food. You know, they eat bananas. You know, um, you know puree. You know, they they they, they eat a lot of uh, um basically you know fruits, okay. Then eventually they start doing what? Eating whole foods. And even then it's still light. Then eventually when a child, you know, gets actually, you know, older, then they start eating what? You know, the, the chicken and, you know, the, the actual, like I said, whole foods by that point. You know, the chicken, the steak, whatever, you know, the fish. Okay? And that's how we got to be. You know, you start off with the, you know, the, the milk. Then you start, you know, going into, you know, higher levels. And eventually you 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 get the stake, you know, the, the you know the deep parts of the scriptures. Okay? But everything starts off with that milk. So I'm gonna read that again. This is first Peter two and two. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord 
is uh gracious. All right. Now um let's get the other one in um the book of um what is that uh Hebrews the uh, fifth chapter. Let me get that. All right. This is going to be a quick lesson. You know, we're not going to, um, you know, um, we're not going to bring out too much. All right. Let's get straight to the point. Okay. This is uh, Hebrews 5 and uh, 12. And it reads, for when for the time ye are to be teachers, ye need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High. So in order to become a teacher... You have to be taught yourself, okay? That's why order is very important in this truth. You have to uh, uh, follow the, 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 you know, the structure that the Lord has set up, okay? That order that the Lord has put into place, okay? You're going to have, you know, first, you know, and foremost, it starts off with what? You know, the apostles, okay? They are the leaders of the nation of Israel, whether you believe it or not. They are the, the heads, all right? Starting with Apostle Tahar. Alright, then it goes down to, you know, Apostle Bar, you know, Apostle Raka, you know, Apostle uh, uh, Ramlab. And then after that goes what? The, the elder bishops, okay, of New York, alright, or in your Connecticut, you know, that whole, uh, you know, area over there. You know, you have um, the elder Manatazak, alright, you know, elder Zakharan, so on and so forth. Okay, then comes what? Then you have the heads of the camps throughout. The, you know the the heads and the elders of the the camps throughout the uh, 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 throughout the world, right? You know, you know, like out here we have what? You know, I'm in gym at Chicago. You have whom? You have uh, Elder Malcolm as our head, all right. Then you have you know um, the other elders, okay. You know, and then you know we we have our order structure out here. You know, here same thing. That, you know, same thing in what? In Dallas, they have their order. Same thing in uh, Los Angeles, the LA camp. Okay, all right, you know, San Francisco, all, all these brothers, man, out there in London, you know, it's a structure. So, hey, for brothers who are coming into this, hey, you have to get in order, okay? And there's times where you, you're you not going to like it, man. You're not going to like, you know, a man rebuking you. You're not going to like a man, you know, in a sense, for lack of words, telling you what to do. And that flesh is going to want to, you know, uh, buck up. But, hey, but you have to put that flesh into subjection. All right? You have to put it into subjection. You have to, you know, hey, hey, do, do, do what's commanded of you. Okay? And look, these men, they're not trying to uh, lord over you. These men are trying to basically guide you in the right direction. So you, you, you obtain salvation. And look, the, the elders understand... And the older brothers, they understand that, look, if they guide the sheep wrong, they're going to be held accountable. And they're going to actually get a worse condemnation, all right, if they're doing things wrong, all right? So they just remember that, all right? But going back to that uh, Hebrews 5 and 12, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, um, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High. And are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. You see, you're in need of milk. Brothers who are just coming into this. And I say, really, really, you're new. Man, I'll say this. I mean, of course, there's levels to this. But I say even up to like three years. You really just need that milk. You know? Like I said, going, it starts off with, you know, the basic, you know, uh, laws. You know, you know, uh, you understanding that you're Israelite, and then you know after that, you you know you start learning about what you know, oh, uh, you know the basic breakdowns, and then also what your conduct, okay? That's the that that's what starts getting, um. That's something that you have to focus on. How do you conduct yourself, you know? And that's the day that like that's why I said, you know, that these things are you know. You know this lesson is like I said, really for you brothers who just got in. So like really like three years into this truth, even almost four, you don't really start getting a little bit older into this truth until you hit about like your fourth or fifth year. That's when you start. I'm not saying that you're full grown or anything, you know, so to speak. But hey, that's when you start, you know, you, you start growing up basically in this truth. All right. And then because really by that point, hey, the Lord's going to be putting you through what trials and tribulations. 
It's going to be testing you. All right. You're going to start, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, going through your own, you know, like I said, your own walk. Then you're going to start, you know, uh, 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 watching how the older brothers conduct themselves. You're going to uh, basically, you know, uh, follow after their example. All right. So on and so forth, you know. But let me keep uh, going. Verse 13, for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. So you're unskillful if you use the milk, all right? Um, no, well, there's nothing wrong with the milk, but if that's all you're using, really, you're unskillful. And that's why you need to uh, 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 basically follow your uh, your elders, all right? You know, the, your, your older brothers, okay? Because they they're going to guide you and they're going to help you out in this walk. All right. Then eventually, you know, you're going to um, I'm not saying break off, but you're going to, uh, you know, be able to walk on your own two feet, so to speak. You know. All right. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of, the, of righteousness, for he is a babe and you're just a babe. You know. You're just a babe. You know, because an older, you know, a man that's been in this truth for some time, they're, they're going to be able to, you know, bring out. um you know, uh, several precepts, all right, to, to, you know, explain something. They're going to be able to uh, go into, you know, uh, the deep part of the scriptures, all right? They're going to see things spiritually that you might not see, okay? They're, they're, they're just on another level, and it is what it is, man. And eventually, like I said, hey, you're going to get to that point where you're, be, you're going to be able to do these things, you know? Verse 14, but strong meat. Belonging to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And that's somebody that's been in the truth, you know, for some time. They're able to deal with the meat. All right. You know, and that's because they, they, they've been through things. Hey, they've studied. OK. You got to remember, see, the men before you have put in a lot of work, you know. You know, I, I, you know, you hear about the apostles, right? They, um, they'll talk about how how um, things uh, were when they were, you know, um, you know, coming up. How many uh, classes they used to attend? How many camp sessions? All right. Then you got a hey, like, you know, out here in G uh, GMS Chicago, a hey, when when the camps first started, hey, camps were going on for six, seven, eight hours. Okay. When I when I was uh you know when when I came in and we were camping for five hours roughly, you know, four to five hours. Hey, we 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 had classes, we would attend classes all the time, you know. Hey, brothers constantly broke bread, and this is I'm saying for uh, uh for my testimony, what I you know what I was dealing with, you know, when I first came in. Hey, brothers, even when we didn't have an uh, an official class, brothers were linking up, breaking bread, listening to the you know. The apostles taking notes down, hey, going over topics, you know. Hey, we, we, we put a lot of work in there, and we're still putting in work. Hey, this hasn't stopped. This hasn't changed, you know. We're still putting in that work. So you got to remember, hey, hey, your, hey, the brothers that are, you know, they have come in before you, and hey, they put that work in. And that's why they're in that particular position, okay. Hey, the Lord... He made, made them go through these situations, and he saw it fit that they're in that position now, okay? You know? But, you know, that's, you know, pretty much it. Like I said, I just wanted, you know, just to touch on that topic. You know, hey, for you brothers, they just, you know, uh, basically, you know, get that milk. And then if, you you know, hey, you're teaching, you know, uh, uh, you know, you're new in the camp, hey, just stick to the basics. Don't, you know, go too deep. You know, eventually, like I said, you know, you might... You know, going to you know deeper topics, you might be able to start you know breaking, you know um more scriptures down. Of course, you know as time you know bypasses, but ultimately you know you want to stick with the milk, you know. And honestly, the milk is um it's the best thing because you know really it's the foundation. You know, even when you you know have a house, right? You always got to make sure that the foundation is good. You know, you always got to go back to it. You know, that's what even for myself. You know, I've been in it for some time now. And I, uh, you know, there's times where I go into deep stuff, but, you know, I really like going, you know, back to the, you know, the basics. Even even this lesson, right, this is even for myself, you know. 
know, you, you got to go back into the basics. You got to, you know, review things. So if, yeah, if you f- forget the basics, hey, you, hey, your foundation is going to, you know, basically fall apart. All right. And then you're going to, you know, basically fall apart. All right. Because you see, hey, I'll say this before I end this lesson. You see guys out there, you know, they were in the truth for some time. And, you know, we talk about fallouts and all that. A lot of these guys, they never, um, they, 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 they always try to get too deep. You know, there was a particular guy out here in Chicago that was in the camp. His name was Nazariah. You know, and a lot of brothers know about him. But if you don't, point being, he was in our camp. And he was um, always trying to get too deep instead of just one deep. And eventually the Lord hey, made him bug out, man. And now this guy is, is switching up the doctrine left and right. And, you know, he's in a terrible case right now, man. You know? All right? The Lord's got him, you know, bugged out of his mind. All right? Point being, though, is, hey, just, you know, stick to the milk, all right? With that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about shot? Also, double honors to the uh, apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, brother. Shalom.